And, and so where I part ways with Jordan, again, I, I do not put Jordan um, in the same category, but he is, he has a very different view of the, 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 Kind of the status of objective empirical truth w in relation to the stories we tell about uh, ourselves and our place in the world and um, what makes life worth living, what what allow what will allow for a society to really cohere around shared values, um, and he thinks that there's a a layer of storytelling and you know what I would what I would call myth and fiction really in a, in a way that is kind of somewhat derogatory, right? It's not to say that I'm, I'm, I don't see the power in it, but it's just, I, what I want to do is be able to distinguish between the uh, a layer of wishful thinking and a layer of delusion and a layer of uh, ancient confusion that is still uh, has good standing among millions of people. And probably some symbolic truth or figurative truth in that too. And, and a kind of harmless harmless uses of the imagination that are could be ennobling and fun and empowering right um and kind of core truths that don't require a story to be ennobling and, did you and, see that jordan got into it with richard dawkins and well you wouldn't have done you're you're off twitter so no, i will no. i'll uh be the weather vane to update you on whatever's happening in twitter's conditions at the moment uh richard a clip of richard went semi-viral of him criticizing the Old Testament God. The God of the Old Testament is arguably the most unpleasant character in all fiction. Jealous and proud of it, a petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak, a vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. Right, and then I think Jordan basically c called him out anytime, any place, anywhere. It wasn't far off that. I think that the actual right, tweet was right. about saying that it was a, uh, I think, damaging science and 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 doing a disservice to maybe Dawkins himself and and and, and some right. other stuff. Yeah, well, so I mean, that's. I mean, I agree with Richard uh, with respect to the what I think of the, the, the Old Testament God and the, the moral instruction we can or can't take from him. I mean, I just think that's, I, I just don't think that the the Bible is the wisest book we have, even though there are, there are pearls of real wisdom there, which I, I you know, understand that people love. Um, it's a book. It was clearly written by human beings, right? So like, the, the fundamental, the, the, the breach point is not, is is upstream of many of the things people might want to debate. There's just this Basic claim: are, we, We've got millions upon millions of books. Were they all written by people or not? Right. And the moment you admit that they were all written by people, okay, we're having a very different conversation about the status of religion. Certainly, the religion of of a, any of the religions of Abraham. Right. I mean, these are these are claims at bottom. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are claims about the divine origin of of a specific book or certain texts. Um. And some of these texts were canonical for centuries and then got thrown out, you know, within within Christianity, and then some got added later. Um, so the the process of cobbling together these these scriptures was all too human. We know way too much about it. If you if we knew more about it, it would look much more like Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon, and the, and the, it would look like a you know the South Park episode that Mormonism in fact looks like, right? From the Book of Mormon. All right. <laughs> Joseph Smith lived in a little American town in the early 1800s. Joseph Smith was called a prophet. Dum 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 dum. He started the Mormon religion. Dum 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 dum. And you drag it further into the present, and it looks like Scientology, right? And then you're like, you're just staring at L. Ron Hubbard's driver's license, and it's just okay. This goofy guy with bad teeth sold all these people on a, on a story about the stars that was just obviously bullshit and should have, it should have been obvious to them. Now, again, this is not to say that there isn't real wisdom in, in all of these streams of information, I mean, even Scientology, but you just, the basic claim, and I think Richard would agree with this, is that 
you don't have to believe anything on insufficient evidence to extract all the wisdom that is to be found in the world's literature and in the conversations, conversations with people in the present and conversations with the dead by reading their, their books.